I'm currently here reviewing the Qantas Sydney First Lounge, but I've recently just come back from Singapore Changi where I did a review of that Qantas First Lounge. Now, that lounge has its own level of charm. I recently spoke with John Simeone, the Senior Vice President of Asia at Qantas, and he took me on a fantastic tour of that Singapore Qantas First Lounge. So the lounge fits 240 passengers uh, and we see it looks after all our first and our premium passengers, our Chairman's Lounge and our Platinums. Uh, so like I said, up to 240 and the team do is up to 180 covers a night uh, in terms of meals. So it's like a fine dining restaurant at Changi Airport. As you can see, it's quite a long lounge. We've got a great area here for uh, relaxing, some great lounge areas uh, and opportunities for our customers uh, to sit down and do some work, plenty of technological pods, uh, and a few different areas in terms of if you want to group together or if you prefer to sit on your own and relax after a meal. Yeah, those pods look very uh, comfortable. Pods are great. Uh, some people have a very good rest in them. Yeah. Uh, so they definitely find them very after comfortable. After a few cocktails, I think. Absolutely. Yeah. And yet, like as we see here, there's plenty of room for customers to relax uh, and really has that premium feel around the lounge. This lounge has been built around really focusing on the customer, focusing on the pre-flight uh, and in-flight well-being. And when they enter this lounge, they have the opportunity to either sit down, do some work, to go into the showers and have uh, showers. There's 10 showers here. We have an opportunity to provide an a la carte dining service. We serve some of the best produce uh, out of Singapore and work very closely with the local producers. And then you move into our bar area, uh, which of course is our signature bar here. Um, where you can grab a, a Neil Perry inspired cocktail from one of his mixologists uh, or grab a macchiato or a cappuccino if that's what you feel like. I, I keep saying it's one of the best coffees in Singapore and I definitely think it is. Uh, and there's an amazing opportunity to sit down and have a meal. It's uh, like I said, it's an a la carte process. The team do up to 180 covers a night in terms of meals. So uh, they're definitely on the go. Uh, I usually have the barramundi uh, when I sit down, but the, they also make a, a, an amazing prawn wonton with the chili and black vinegar sauce. Uh, we have our signature salt and pepper squid in the lounge. Uh, and ideally for customers, no, no matter what type of requirement they have from a dietary perspective, uh, this lounge looks after uh, our customers exceptionally well. And the customers love to have a sit down, have a look at the menu yeah. and take a choice. And uh, it's pretty obvious that customers don't just have one meal. There's yeah. uh, definitely the entree, the yeah. main and the dessert. So, yeah. uh, and they get into the dessert, dessert quite a bit. Yeah. Uh, and and they're, yeah, they're, they're well sized, aren't they? Just so you definitely can well -sized, have a bit, yeah. bit of everything. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and of course, you know, champagne, uh, premium world-class champagne, premium Australian wines, bottled beer. Uh, and of course, if you don't drink, you know, plenty of options uh, yeah. for those that don't drink as well. Now it's a really long lounge, isn't it? It's it's yeah. um it's, it's, it's quite big. Yeah. It's just uh just over a thousand square meters. Yeah, right. Uh, it was designed by David Kayon and Kelvin Ho. Yeah. Um, and they've really taken the opportunity with a little bit of greenery yeah. around a few of the, the natural palettes in terms of colours, yeah. uh, just to be able to provide that relaxed feeling. And, yeah. and we touched on earlier, right? Whether you want to sit down and have a snooze or have a have a rest, whether you want to. Uh, have an a la carte meal or whether you need to do some work uh, there's three different options for yeah. you to take care of yeah. uh, and you know you wouldn't ever notice that the staff uh, are pedaling quite fast yeah. um, because as the QF for example when the QF2 comes in from London it's traditionally a around a, a 515 arrival yeah. and then like a 730 departure yeah. so you know customers are in our yeah. first and premium customers are yeah. in they're either sitting down grabbing a bite to eat then jumping in the shower yeah. um, getting ready for the flight but it's yeah. a quite a tight time yeah. frame in terms of making sure that our customers have a yeah. real premium experience yeah. over that yeah. period there's a fair bit of work that goes on before the lounge opens so prior to the lounge opening if you're in here you know an hour before the lounge opening, the team get together, they look through all our premium VIP customer lists, they look at the specific requirements for our customers. If there's a birthday going on, they'll approach the customer uh, with, with, a, with a birthday cake and a celebratory drink. Uh, so I think that's the important part in this lounge. And even the feel here, like you've got one colour palette here and then just over here, just yeah. across from the hallway, it's a it's bit different. completely different feel. Yep. But um, yeah, no, it's really it's really beautiful and definitely on, on brand and on theme. Yeah, and plenty of meals being served. I think yeah. like we touched on, you know, yeah. Um, whether you're having the barramundi or yeah. the prawn wonton or the salt yeah. and pepper squid, yeah. uh, there's plenty of options from an ally car perspective yeah. for our customers. Salt and pepper squids are famous, isn't it? Salt yeah. and pepper squid signature first dish, uh, and it's very, very in, in high demand. I think we do about yeah. 60 to 80 salt and pepper squids yeah. a night here, yeah. Uh, yeah. and probably about 80 prawn wonton yeah. dishes a night. So people aren't going to be leaving here hungry. They shouldn't be leaving hungry, no, <laughs> yeah. absolutely not. Uh, they should be leaving fed, relaxed and uh, yeah. clean after a yeah. shower. Yeah, definitely, definitely. <laughs>
I think this is the best lounge in Changi. Uh, this mix is a really good opportunity of having Australian and Singaporean culture come together. Um, when I, like I touched on earlier, the, the meals are signature first meals that are here. The produce is sourced uh, locally from Sing Singaporean producers. Uh, and I think the benefit of this lounge is the people, uh, the food, but most importantly, the inclusiveness uh, that everyone feels. And we work very closely with the local authorities to ensure that everything is 100% in this lounge, uh, but it brings the whole customer experience together. And I think that touch of Australia and Singapore that we bring together uh, is unique. Uh, and I don't think you'll find it in any other lounge here in Singapore. Excellent. Thank you, John. That's all I have for you. Thanks, Dan. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to watch even more lounge tours.